Hello, welcome to the Bespoke Unit. In this video, we're going to be reviewing Spice Bomb. Hello, my name is Paul Anthony. And I'm CP. And we're with the Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. Of the intro, you saw us let the grenade off, and we're ready to blow some stuff up. So. Well, we're gonna throw ourselves on that grenade right now <laughs> and tell you all about it. So, released in 2012, the nose behind this is Olivier Polge. Olivier Polge is actually the nose between, behind other balmy fragrances like this, such as Dolce & Gabbana, the one, and uh, Burberry Brit Rhythm. So I think that's okay. it's quite interesting because he has really a theme on the kind of fragrances he works with. Okay, so, We've got an opening of bergamot, a very oily, bittersweet grapefruit, pepper and enemy, which is kind of limey, quite fresh. Uh, we go down, we transition to a heart, which is basically a spice cabinet of saffron, cinnamon and paprika, which is very refreshing. Yeah, this I is think really that, where it um, shines. that cinnamon is really <clears throat> like the, the strongest mm. note throughout the whole composition. Oh yeah. You know, mm. which is good. So uh, when we get to the base, we have a foundation of labdanum, so quite musky, with whitewood and argwood, which create this very alluring uh, pipe tobacco. Yeah, I, I was picking out tobacco, and you yeah. were like, yeah, so basically one and the same thing almost. You yeah, know? pretty much. So. And then we have some sort of slightly green, a bit earthy vetiver in uh, just a hint of that before we fade to a nice skin scent of uh, its performance. And if you're wondering what we're looking at here, this is the uh, bespoke unit yeah. fragrance formula that we use to have a quantifiable matrix to review uh, fragrances. This is one that Charles Philippe done. When did you do this review initially? It says here, so we always list the date. This was the 15th of March 2018, with, and the post was review, uh, published some time later because we do write a lot. So, so we have uh, a backlog. Yeah, definitely. So see <coughs> below a link to the bespokeunit.com review, as well as this fragrance features in our best winter fragrances mm. as well, which leads us nicely into the seasonality. So seasonality is this is basically made for winter. This yep. I see this as like the Christmas uh, fragrance. It'd be very oh, difficult yeah. to wear it during other seasons. Maybe autumn, autumn for sure. But Maybe autumn spring, in the summer, evenings. Yeah. I think that would be a, yeah. a nice application for it. Maybe during the day, there's some better fragrances to use. But this mm. is this is definitely a killer winter fragrance. For know? sure, yeah. And with that, we can lead straight to the wake and strength, I guess. Great weight, great strength. Um, you know, uh, it's not overpowering, but I wouldn't use too much of it at the no. same time. You know, it's definitely a recognizable scent, um, but the, the the longevity isn't maybe it's as pretty good. average. Yeah, so it's something you'd with, want to reapply throughout the day. Like, you know, so mm. just out of interest, if you guys are into batch numbers, the batch number on here is six two N seven zero D J. If you're interested in the bottle we've got here, because this is the bottle that uh, I gave you a. Um, a tester yeah, uh, from this particular bottle, and this is the one that I've been using. Uh, it's probably about um, a quarter, a third mm. of the way you use it. Pretty bottle. much use it once a year, so yeah, it's, it's a very se for us. It's a very seasonally specific mm. fragrance, for you sure. know. Third party feedback. I actually bought this sight unseen. Um, mm. I'm not a fan of the bottle, to be honest. Like this grenade look, <laughs> it's, a, um, bit it's a bit weird. <laughs> but I, I, I heard some good things from some other people mm. about it. First out of testing, mm, didn't really like it. And then I was just, I try and use my fragrances as much as possible. And I've had this for like a couple of years now. And I thought, you know what, I'll start wearing a little bit more, put it in the winter rotation. Um, but the thing that really surprised me, this was an absolute mind blowing compliment monster. Mm, I couldn't believe what, yeah. it. Like, mm. it was crazy. Like, it's not a fragrance I, I particularly like liked on myself, but like, this is probably outside of maybe Creed Aventus and maybe Dunhill Icon, mm. for a seasonal fragrance, this is the by far the most compliment fragrance I've ever worn. Really? Which is really surprising because I just feel like it's that spicy, <laughs> I mean the fragrance family it's in is that woody spicy. Yeah. But yeah, absolute monster fragrance, uh, monster compliment game. My experience is somewhat similar when I've wear, worn the testers. Uh, I found that it, it's not as popular, maybe it's just where I live in, in, in Europe, in France specifically. 
Uh, but my stepdaughter, who is 15 going on 16, and my stepson, who is like 13, 14, they absolutely love it, and it's quite popular among their friends. It seems to be a fragrance that is slowly starting to replace Paco Ban 1 million as that kind oh. of wintry young person's mm -hmm. fragrance, but yeah. it's quite an aspirational one because, as we'll talk about a little bit later, age range, it's not quite there yet for their age. That leads into our impressions. So our impressions mm -hmm. include age range, time of day, occasion, and masculinity. So sure. age range, I'm 33. I still think this is a more than fine fragrance for me oh, to yeah, wear. Sure. But as you say, there's a younger crowd that are starting to maybe appreciate mm -hmm. it or get access to it. Uh, time of day, I think I wear it all, all day long in the winter, but I think in the autumn it's probably, or the autumn stroke fall, it's probably more of an evening fragrance. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say it's overly sophisticated um, or complex in, no. in one way, but I think it's also quite an enveloping like, romantic fragrance. Yeah, I wouldn't, yeah it, exactly. It's not a casual fragrance. Well, it can be worn casually. It can be worn slightly formally in some, maybe some offices, some workplaces that aren't too conservative. But yeah, the sort of sweet spot between that is a very good dating fragrance. Yeah, I mean, we, we were, uh, recently reviewed Toda Hermes, the Parfum uh, version, mm. and that's like a kind of more reserved, extremely more sophisticated mm. version of a winter fragrance. Well, exactly. I think it's more of a winter fragrance. Yeah. So this is definitely a little bit more, um, I wouldn't say crass, but a little bit more in your face, yeah. a little bit more punchy, a little bit more of a compliment getter, which may not be suitable to those, um, you know, more professional environments. But mm. I mean, in, in our review, in your review, uh, you said it was a romantic fragrance. So I think, mm. um, you know, if you're looking out on a date night, this is a, this is definitely a great uh, option as well. Mm, a great, uh, as I mentioned earlier, there was Paco Ban 1 million, which this is a great, um, more contemporary alternative to. But it's also somewhat reminiscent of uh, Jean-Paul Coutier Ultra Mal, although the scents themselves, the notes in there, aren't the same. The, the context of it and how it can be worn, very similar, quite youthful, but still something that can be worn by a more mature man too. I mean, just sitting here and I got it on my hand, I'm getting this, you know, this fragrance bubble coming up to me yeah. and it's really reminded me of like Christmas and the it's, colder months and like you know wearing the big chunky scarf oh, like yeah, yeah sure. it's uh, it's definitely an olfactal uh, memory job it's, it's, it's like you know yeah, it's, it's, it's like pretty awesome so. potpourri you know yeah. it's that got that kind of odor to it uh, masculinity. I say it's fairly mo uh, moderate. You know, mm. I, I wouldn't say. So contemporary. This. Yeah, I wouldn't say like the girlfriend would like be spraying it on, but I'm all, mm. I'm getting some like lighter kind of like more feminine kind of nuances, but it's definitely sure. got that cinnamony, you know, little bit of tobacco masculinity to it. Yeah, you know? exactly. So, it's subtle, but it's there. Yeah. As for presentation. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the bottle. I've given to be it, I gave it good marks in the uh, written review just because I thought it was unique, iconic, and eye catching, but on a personal level, I don't yeah, like I'm it. I'm not really an advocate of it. It reminds me of Azaro Wanted, which is like the barrel yeah. of a gun as well. It's, yeah. It's, it's this kind of. I mean, I suppose it's eye catching for that. Mm. For, uh, as for the atomizer, excellent. Excellent. You've probably got at least a 24 inch spray there. Mm. Um, it's not a stream, and it's not like. I mean, I always use Dior Sauvage as the most extreme mist bubble I've ever seen. Mm. It's the finest stuff. That was a very nice, you know, that's, you know. Cool. Yeah, that's it's so great. Yeah, you could, you could you could ease the um, uh, center room with that. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> so the atomizer definitely a two out of two. Love that. Great, <clears throat> great. Uh, as for value for money, uh, this is around a hundred dollars. Quite pricey for yeah. It's it quite is. quite something pricey. Something you can only use at one time the year. Yeah, but again, if you're a, if you're a frackhead or someone looking to get more into fragrances yeah. and look at uh, seasonality. And uh, well, obviously at this point in time approaching the winter, then this might be one that's a great gift idea for yourself or someone you know who's into fragrances um, that can be worn at this time of year over in the Southern Hemisphere, obviously when you're in your winter. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> you know, we don't always want to be Euro <clears throat> and uh, North America centric. As for... Um, the overall rating, say it's an absolutely great to outstanding fragrance. Okay. Um, again, if you're aware that it is a seasonal fragrance, mm. you know. Mm. So, what are your final thoughts on it? I think that just about covers it. That covers it pretty well. It, it is a, a great fragrance, quite iconic for a particular time of year. 
is a good go-to and is very reliable for if you're looking for compliments this is probably a really safe bet yeah it'll be, see, it'll be interesting over you know, the next few years how it evolves if mm. it does maybe catch on to a younger crowd if it becomes a Paco Obama yeah. million and it's just overworn and people become a bit yeah, blind it just to becomes it, like uh, as you say teen, teen desperation <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I said that <laughs> <laughs> the old nightclubs of uh, you know wherever but uh, okay with all that being said we'd love to hear your thoughts on Spice Bomb if you think it's a great winter fragrance do you use it at other times of the year do you think it's a yeah, As, do you think it opens up in the warmer months even that may be something that you know is a little different take on it uh, do you have any other fragrance you think it's similar to or complementary or do you layer it with other fragrances that makes it uh, slight, slightly more depthful and impactful mm. love to hear those kind of comments or questions below um, also um, please like the video if you did like this video and turn on the well subscribe and then turn on the notification button because we have many more fragrance reviews coming out as well as fragrance buying guides top 10 such as best winter fragrances where this one sits in there also on bespoke in it if you're not aware we cover many other men's lifestyle topics such as cigars shoes suits watches whiskey champagne and a few more as well so uh, you know we're very um, sport for choice as it were so with all that being said any final comments or questions there comes it perfectly for me well thanks a lot for your time charles philippe this is the final video of our uh one week stint here in philadelphia so you know i hope you enjoyed the content that's come out of these mm. uh these videos here we've done about 45 in the last few days so i hope you've enjoyed them um and we shall see you in the next one my name is paul anthony i'm cp all the best take care